So in this video guys, we are doing a very basic trading view tutorial for 2023. And to be more precise, I'm recording this video on May 25th. So hopefully guys, this will be the most current uh, trading view tutorial out there, at least for a while. And yeah, since you guys really enjoyed the trading view tutorial for 2021 and the trading view tutorial for 2022, I thought it's about damn time to finally make a new one. This video will be divided into video chapters. So if you are only looking for a specific point you need to learn about, make sure to use the timestamps or the video chapters down below. But for you complete TradingView beginners out there, I have tried to build this video in a very logical order. So everything from, you know, how you sign up, how to open your first chart, how you can make your chart look the best. And then we will move on to take a look at some slightly more complicated things such as indicators, how to customize your trading view and so on and so on. But without further ado, let's get started right away here. So when you first open up your trading view, it should look something like this. And the very first thing you want to do here is to sign up for trading view. Because if you don't sign up, you will get an annoying pop-up window that looks something like this. And the only way to get rid of that pop-up window is to sign up. The best way to sign up for TradingView that I know of is to use a special type of link. Just like I did for the TradingView tutorial 2022, I will make sure to leave the link both in the top description of this video and I will also leave the link in the pinned comment that will be in the top of the comment section. And the reason you want to use this link is that even if you decide to only go for the free TradingView uh, version, uh, yes guys, TradingView has a pretty good free version, uh, but even if you decide to go for free and then later on decide to up upgrade your plan to, for example, a pro or premium plan, then you can actually get a $30 bonus towards that, that plan. So that is why I highly recommend you guys to use the, this link. If you don't want to, you can just go to the TradingView site, site here and click on get started. So that is yet another thing. So let's click on get started right now to sign up. And as you can see on this window right here, you can get started for $0. Uh, you can sign up for free. And that is what I recommend most of you guys to do. Or the other thing you can do is that you can right away sign up for a 30 day free trial on some of their either pro, pro plus or premium plans. All of these plans are ad free, which is super nice, but they also allow for many benefits such as being able to use more indicators on the chart. You can have multiple charts in one layout, more price alerts, and there are tons of tons of benefits. But as I said, guys, starting with the free plan or just starting with a free trial is two very good options. I will not talk about all the benefits in this video, but I recommend you guys to read all of the plans or take a quick look at all of the plans and see which one is best for you. All right, so when you first look Log into TradingView, your starting screen should look something like this. Down in the left corner, you have a few very popular markets such as Bitcoin, Tesla and Apple. On the right side, you have a bar with many different markets, for example, S&P 500, which is the world's largest stock market index. And you have tons of other financial markets here changing in value every single second. But as a beginner in TradingView, the first thing you have to learn is how to open up a TradingView chart. And to do that, you want to go down here to where it says search market here. Press on this search bar and a new window will pop up. On this window, you can search for different markets. You can, for example, search for Bitcoin and all the Bitcoin markets will pop up. You can search for Tesla, all the Tesla markets will pop up. But one important thing about when you search for financial markets is that you actually don't want to search for the whole name, such as Bitcoin. You actually want to search for the ticker symbol, which in the case of Bitcoin is BTC. So pretty much all the markets have a ticker symbol and that is basically a very short, some short letters uh, that is assigned to a specific market, for example, Bitcoin. And these letters makes it easier to search for specific markets. So for example, when you search for Bitcoin, you don't want to search for Bitcoin, but you want to search for the ticker symbol, which is BTC. 
when we have a large market such as Bitcoin, you will also find um, you will also find the chart if you search for Bitcoin. But when you have very small markets, it can often be hard for TradingView to find that market if you don't search for the ticker symbol. So that is an important tips for you all. So now let's say we want to open up a Bitcoin chart. We search for BTC, and as you can see, we have many different types of Bitcoin charts right here. This is basically because Bitcoin is traded on a lot of different exchanges. You can, for example see the, the top one is Bitcoin on Bitstamp. The second one here, second one is Bitcoin on Coinbase. So let's actually launch that chart. So congrats. Now you have opened up your first trading view chart right here. And hopefully your chart should look something like this. You can see the, these green and red bars right here is what we call candlesticks. And these this type of chart is what we call a candlestick chart. And this is what most traders use. However, if your chart does not look like this, or if you want to change uh, from, for example, candlestick to a line chart or a bar chart or anything like that, you want to go up here to the left upper corner and you see this symbol right here. If you press on this one, you can see that we have many different types of charts. And if I remember correctly, uh, some charts actually start by looking like this. This right here is a line chart and this pretty much no traders uses a line chart because a candlestick chart has so much more information. So now let's switch back to our candlestick chart. We go up here to where it says line. We press this one and we click on candles. So make sure guys that you're using a candlestick chart. Another type of chart that some traders use, let's once again click on this symbol, is actually a bar chart. So let's take a look at how this one looks like. A bar chart actually gives us the same, the exact same information as a candlestick chart, but you can see that it looks a bit different. Some traders actually prefer to use this type of chart, but in my in my opinion, especially for beginners, I think candlesticks are much more clear. So let's once again go back to our candlestick chart. But now let's just super, super quickly in a step by step manner, go over how we can read these candlesticks. So when you have a green candle, this basically means that the price goes up during the candle. You can see that the candle opens, it starts down here at the lower part of the green part of the candle and the price ends at the top of the green part. So the price starts right here, and when the candle is done, the price is up here. But during the candle, the lowest point during the candle is all the way down here. You can see at the very lowest, lowest part, uh, and the highest point of the candle is all the way up here. This black small part we have up here and down here is what we call the candlestick wick, and this large part is what we call the candlestick body. And the exact opposite is true for the red candle. The price starts right here. During the candle, it go goes up to a highest point all the way up here. It goes down to a lowest point all the way down here, but the candle closes or stops at this point. And you may wonder how much time is every candlestick. Well, each candlestick on the chart can represent different time frames. So for example, right now we're looking at Bitcoin and every candlestick on this chart represents one day. But on TradingView, we can of course change the time frame of the candles. And to do this, you go up to where it says a D right, he right here. D stands for day. And if you click on this one, you can see that you have many, many different time frames that you can use. For example, if you want every candlestick to be one hour, you can go down here and click one hour right there. Uh, you can, if you want to change your candle uh, time frame once again, you'll go up to where it says one H, stands for one hour, and you can change your candlestick to one minute. So here on the chart, every candlestick represents one minute. Uh, so this is how you change time frames of the candlesticks. So let's once again go up here, click one minute and change back to a daily time frame. And now let's talk about one very important thing about how to navigate the chart. So how to zoom in, how to zoom out. This is a very important aspect. And right now what I'm doing is that I'm using my scrolling wheel on my mouse. And you can see that by using this one, the chart automatically 
zooms in and out. This can be quite nice, especially if you are a beginner, but if you want to turn off this auto zoom, you go down here to the right lower corner where it says auto and you press this one. I personally prefer to zoom in and out manually. So now when I use my scrolling wheel, you can see that the chart only zooms uh, you know, to the side. We go, uh, when I scroll out, I zoom out a lot sideways, but it doesn't zoom on the vertical axis. So to zoom on the vertical axis, when you have disabled the auto zoom, then you just simply hold on to the price line here on the side and you can drag this line. You can see when I drag it up, we zoom in. When I drag it down, we zoom out. So I can drag this one. I can zoom in and out with my scrolling wheel. I can drag this one, zoom in and out with my scrolling, scrolling wheel. And if you want to move around freely on the chart, go up to the left upper corner and press this point right here, the cross. Now, when, when I hold and drag on the chart, you can see that I move around on my chart. So I can move around like this, zoom using my scrolling wheel and zoom the vertical axis by holding on to the vertical axis. This is usually how I navigate. Uh, this is how I navigate my chart around like this. Now let's take a look at one thing you may be curious about. You can see that we have bars. You can see we have bars down here on the chart. I'm talking about the green bars and the red bars right here. This is what we call volume bars. And the volume bars basically represent how much is traded during that uh, particular candle. So for example, you can see this green candle right here. If you go down and take a look at the volume bar, you can see that during that candle, we had a very large volume bar. What this basically means is that during this candle, we had lots of lots of transactions. So it means basically that many people were buying and selling Bitcoin that day. And a strong volume bar is something you can use in many strategies, many technical analysis strategies. But for now in this video, let's just notice that these volume bars represent how much that is traded during that particular candle. And if you want to disable your volume bar, you basically go up here to the left upper corner where it says vol here for volume. It says vol.bitcoin because we are on the Bitcoin chart. And if you press this hide right here, you can see that the volume bars will appear. Uh, if you press it once again, the volume bar bars will show once again. Now guys, let's take a very quick look here at the indicators. And to open up an indicator, we go up here to where it says no surprise indicators. We press on this one right here and a new window will appear where it says indicators, metrics and strategies. And here you have tons and tons and tons of different technical analysis indicators. Let's start by showing a basic but very powerful indicator, which is the RSI indicator, which stands for relative strength. To open up the RSI, you search in the search bar for RSI. And you can see here that many different RSI indicators will appear. We have super many different versions of the RSI indicator. But the most common one, and this one is super power powerful, is just the relative strength index indicator. So let's press on this one right here. I will not have time to talk about what the RSI indicator does in this video. But right now I will pop up a video on the corner in the eye where I talk about what the indicator is, how to use the RSI indicator, and I will also talk about a, an RSI indicator trading strategy. So if you want to learn more about the RSI, make sure to check out that video. Now guys, let's go up to indicators once again. We press indicators and let's open up another one. Let's open up another indicator you might have heard of, which is super popular, and that is the MACD. So what I do here, I search for MACD and I press the MACD, which stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. So let's click on this one. So now you can see here, I have both the RSI indicator and the MACD on the chart. Once again, for the MACD, I won't have time to go into depth on how to use the MACD indicator here. And now guys, I just recently opened yet another indicator and now I'm about to open a fifth indicator. Uh, so let's open up just a random one. Let's search for candlestick 
uh, candlestick patterns. This is a, an indicator that can detect certain patterns in the market. But as, as you can see, when I open this one, it says that in order to get more indicators, uh, to be able to have more indicators on the chart, you need to upgrade your plan. So this I'm just showing to demonstrate that if you want, for example, many indicators, you will eventually need to upgrade your, upgrade your plan. However, I still want to emphasize that you can go a long way on the free version. All right, okay, so I really, really hope you got some value from this video and that you are now ready to get started with TradingView. If you guys want more TradingView tutorials, please, by all means, let me know down in the comments below. Also, please uh, feel free to give me suggestions on what type of videos you want to see next on the channel. And also, of course, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any video. And guys, if you want to support the channel a little bit extra, the best way to do that is to sign up using the link uh, in the top comment as well as the description.